So, you guys are all here for My Hero Academia, huh? All right, well, my name is Lewis Perry, and this is that Wonder Woman, J.B. Dolan. We are the Anchor Geeks. They flew us all the way up here from New England just to hang out with you guys and get you guys mad at us, but uh, that's not really the reason. But we're going to bring in My Hero Academia right now. How about that? Big round of applause. Bring the guys in. There. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 yo. You guys sit down. Jamie and I are going to stand up. I have no idea. Wow. So we're going to do a roll call. Do we have enough chairs for you guys? Yeah. Perfect. There aren't chairs back here. We're just squats. All right. So but before we start, we're going to let you guys introduce yourselves. Go ahead. Move over. She's so bossy. He's pushing me off the table. But she's so bossy. Sure are good mics. Anyway, <laughs> go. Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name's Rico Fajardo. I play Mirio Togata in My Hero Academia. <laughs> I'm Ian Sinclair, and I play Shoji. <laughs> I'm Monica Real, and I play Suyu Asui. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Justin Briner, and I play Deku. And the guy on the end, you guys already know. Oh, yeah. Hi, Justin Cook, Cook. Kirishima! Woohoo! Now, I, I gotta say, guys, Justin tried to steal your thunder. Dude. Which Justin? That's right, which Justin? Oh, oh which guys Justin? Know. I'm a thunder stealer. Yeah. <laughs> He came in here even without Jamie and I. He just jumped right in there and started entertaining people. We're like, what the hell is going on? And I respond well to that. I like it. I like it. How dare you <laughs> entertain? <laughs> All right. So before we get started, we do have some re rules of the convention of alternate reality entertainment. That is no video taking, no streaming. You guys can take still photography, but you cannot record on video. And you... <laughs> I was turning it off. I was turning okay, it off. Okay. I was turning it off. And... You can't, you know, you can't stream live, all right? But you also have, since you guys are from Colorado Springs or around here, and we are from New England, the Angry Geeks, we have our certain way of running a panel. We have our own rules. So we're going to lay those rules on you guys right now, but the rules are for you guys. What questions are you tired of answering? Don't want to answer. Wait a minute. Don't want to answer cannot answer because of contracts or other things, or just or just you answer them a thousand million times and just don't, don't want to do it anymore, lay it on the people now. Wait, we get, so this is like a disclaimer kind of yes. thing? Yes. Yes. I'm, I'm, I mean, you just guys Just glad to be around people, you know? I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just happy to talk to people. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. We <laughs> haven't been asked these question in over a year, so. <laughs> in 78 years. Oh, yeah. 78 years. <laughs> yeah. The anime. All right, so you guys are cool. Anything goes? I, yeah, I think so. I mean, yeah. until I mean, it does If we don't want to answer, we won't answer. Just, <laughs> yeah. right, there are kids in here. How about right, that? Yeah. Oh, oh. There are kids present. All right, so what's the youngest age that we got first? Who, who's, who's the youngest? Pick, oh my god. Hi, right. Pikachu! Pikachu's in the house. Hey. Hey, <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so how did each one of you guys get into voice acting first? So, uh, so we'll go right, right down the oh, line. Shit. Yeah, we'll okay. go down. Uh, got into voice acting specifically with, uh, I was on set with Brina Palencia. Uh, you might know her. Uh, she plays uh, Grape, Grape Shot. Grape. Manetta. <laughs> Great juice. Anyway, yeah, uh, Manetta and, and, and I were hanging out. Uh, no, Brina and I were hanging out on a film set for a movie called All the Wrong Friends. It's a B horror movie you can watch on Amazon Prime. <laughs> <You wanna? laughs> write it down. Write I'm it just down. saying, you guys, <laughs> it's an oldie. Anyway, I met Brina on that set, and we were hanging out, playing guitar, chilling. She's like, hey, you sing? You should, you should come audition over at uh, Funimation. And the rest is history. Next. Uh, I was a theater major, and I had a friend who occasionally worked for Funimation, and he said, hey, man, do you want to watch me work? And I said, yes. And I went in just to be on a tour, and the guy who was directing uh, was sat all might. And uh, he turned around and he goes, like, hey, man, you want to say a line? And I go, yeah. <laughs> they weren't going to pay me for that line. They were just getting free labor off of some random kid. But that guy, that character came back six episodes later and said one more line. And then they had to give me a contract. And I just stayed with it for 20 years. Next. 
<laughs> just eyes widen. Um, yeah, I was a theater major, and I was doing theater with a man named Jason Douglas, who is mm. Beerus, if you all have seen any of the Dragon Ball stuff. Um, and <laughs> Beerus is the one that got me into voice acting. So here I am 22 years later. Wow. <laughs> Next. We, we I this. came into possession of an ancient talent. <laughs> <laughs> um, it makes sense now. It makes sense. So uh, the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> and sh Thunder Stealer. <laughs> you know what? My first real opportunity on the microphone was right here in this wonderful state at KSPN in Aspen. I was a radio jock for the overnights there. And, uh, what? That was my first time. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, three. That's wild. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Right, that. And I'll, then, and then I found the mystical uh, yeah, tablet. Yeah. <laughs> the tablet as well. All right, I want to say one thing. You guys are so cool with your fans because we are we are standing room only, and we had those two girls out there that were just like broken down because they couldn't mm -hmm. come in here. Aww. And what you guys did, that was just awesome. I want to give these guys a round just to say hi. That was wicked cool. So. Thank you. That we love you guys. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. So Legit. we this is our way of saying thank you for supporting us all of these years so we can do what we love. Mm -hmm. So thank all of you. Thank you for supporting us, us broke yeah. people. <laughs> 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 all right, so I guess these guys have questions. I know, uh, what's your name? The Mandalorian. Oh, sure. Oh. Hey. <laughs> My name's Brandon. Hi. And two things. One, your agency rocks. Prime time appearances all the way. Yes, Prime Do you like any other animes besides the ones you voice, like Yu-Gi-Oh or Demon Slayer? Oh, I haven't seen Demon Slayer yet. <gasps> I know, I know, I'm awful. It's on my list. She is in list. so much anime that if she just watches her own anime, she will be busy from morning till night, like forever. Um, a lot of content. What's your favorite anime? A lot of content. I mean, it was Dragon Ball, but that doesn't count anymore. Um, <laughs> Because I'm in it now, so oh. it's just pinching your own product. Uh, <laughs> Cowboy Bebop, man. Yeah, yeah Bebop. Bebop's Ooh. great. Are you looking forward to the live action? Actually, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, no, I mean, you always give it a chance. Sometimes it'll turn out like Death Note. Sometimes it'll... <laughs> hey, you gotta, you gotta roll the dice. You gotta keep trying. <laughs> yeah. Don't you bring yeah. up evolution. Oh, no. But regardless I didn't of even if say they're the good name. or not, it's bringing, a, it's bringing this medium further yeah. more yeah. into the mainstream, which is ultimately where we want this 100%. medium to go. Yeah. So, yes. Okay. Mine is Little girl. Blue. What's your name? My name is Helen, and my question is for Justin. Justin. <laughs> it's Sean. And we sat Justin. him next to each other, so like, on the yellow table. Hello, Justin. Hi. What's oh, up? Hi. My question is, do you ever plan on making a live action My Hero? If so, I want to be Toby. <laughs> uh, once I get, once I secure funding for my, uh, for my passion projects, yeah, I'm sure I'll make... That. You gotta find Yay. that talisman. Where did that talisman go? <laughs> Where's that talisman? <laughs> Little girl in the back yeah. with the fangs. Stand up, what's your name? Um, so many tokens. My name is Lillian, and I would like to shake all of your hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you wanna, you wanna do it now? Do you wanna go down to the table and do it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. go down to the table. Oh, oh. Green See, this is what I was talking about. You guys are just Whoa. awesome. Oh, nice. Yeah, 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 so yeah, proud. Yeah, yeah. And then you gotta do West Coast follow. <laughs> I'm not gonna follow them. Right. See, isn't this awesome? This is what we were talking about earlier. Hey, she like it's all about the approach. You have the taste. You go like that. Hey, hello. Thanks. Yeah, I'll give it to you after. Yeah. Great cosplay. You're next. What made you fall in love with your character? Oh. You're in love with Shoji. <laughs> How did you know that Ian loves Shoji? <laughs> Well, you start. What is what, what is it about Mirio that you love? Oh man, come on, y'all. What is there not about? It's Mirio? like yeah, it's really hard not to uh, love him. Uh, I, I've met a few y'all online talking about how you get that shonen protagonist who's like, I want to do the right thing and I want to do all these things. And um, for Mirio, uh, with it, from his quirk, having to learn how to use his quirk, all the way to. Uh, you know, people are like, he's always so happy and sunny and everything. I'm like, no, but there's a reason for that, you guys. He's got an awesome best friend, and I'm a Jiki, support system, for real. He's got a dad who literally says, hey, this is really dangerous. I don't know if it's possible if you can accomplish your dream, but if you want to do it, I'm there for you. I'm like, oh, God. And then, and then, he's got Sir Night Eye, 
sees it to the future who's like, you're going to be amazing. <laughs> Have you ever had a teacher come to you? I had that my high school teacher, and he's like, you could do this, you could do acting. Brent Matthews in Reno, Nevada. Uh, 16 and a half year old Rico, he's like, you could do this professionally if you wanted to. You could be an actor. It's gonna take a lot of time and a lot of effort, but you could do it. And I was like, okay. <laughs> okay, great chat. What's your name? They're asking more questions. Oh. They're all answering. Oh. Sorry. Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I chat. Here. No, it's okay. Wow, I was like zoned out in your answer. I was like, okay, that's what you're saying. Next. Next. Oh, um, for me, it was as soon as I saw her character design. I mean, she's such a cool character. And then getting to talk like this was my second favorite thing about her. Because this is just a fun voice to do. <laughs> um, Deku's a good kid, you know? He, he goes through some real stuff that I, I think a lot of folks growing up can relate to one way or another, and I think that's kind of important to put on screen, so I just, yeah. I love that about him. Kirishima, I mean, come on. <laughs> come on. But, I'll, but I will say, the moment that solidified my love for the character was, I think it's at the end of, is it, I think it's in season three, and it's right after we've gone through the whole bit with saving Bakugo, right? And then he starts to kind of really tear up as soon as he realizes that the situation he placed Sue in was horrible for her. And his emotion for that moment, in that moment, and his guilt for that, uh, for me, that that moment I was like, wow, there's the humanity. And then of course we start finding more and more about him. So the love just grows from there. Yeah. Uh, Woo! That's it! That was all of them. Yeah. Okay, that was all of them. Do you have, what's your name? Gabby, and uh, my question, um, what is you guys' favorite episode or arc in My Hero Academia? Ooh. I'm going to take the starting on this one because Rico's going to take the whole Yes, do it. Please. <laughs> <laughs> no, my favorite arc has been uh, the, the, I guess it was the first half of season four. Uh, that that storyline blew me away. I just was super excited about it and my partner for sure. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, I, I really love the um, the sports festival, the the first one. Um, you know, every everyone gets to show off and have a little fun in the ring, and I, it, it, you know, this show it, uh, both exceeds expectations and subverts them very cleverly, very often. I thought that was a great showcase of like, well, I did not expect that. Holy moly! I think my favorite episode so far has been the dorm room episode. <laughs> I like making y'all cry, I'm sorry, but I love that y'all feel for her. Um, but also I got to help direct that episode and so it's the first time I got to work with some of my colleagues and see them voice the characters. And I remember working with this one and every time he'd opened his mouth, gold just fell out. <laughs> and I was like, Justin, please tell me that you've had acting training and you're not just somebody that walked in off the street and it's just perfect. And he's like, no, I'm an actor. I'm like, okay, cool, just making sure. <laughs> How about you? I don't have a favorite, I'm just glad when I get to talk. <laughs> Shoji's a quiet lad. Shoji's a quiet... See? He's underrated. I feel like he gives the best hugs. You know, yeah. <laughs> I'm also going to take two seconds and say, look, I get that Bakugo was going to be the drummer because oh, aggressive, but not having Shoji be the drummer in that group is greatness left on the yeah, table. That was kind of you could have like three drum sets around him. Yeah. But again, like Shoji, I'm just glad to be here. <laughs> I'll say, uh, it, you would think it'd be the Lamillion episode, but it's the one that follows it, where uh, Midoriya comes in, uh, spoilers, and saves, helps save Eri. Mostly because uh, I realized, I think, in that moment, from all my passing on uh, power to Midoriya, uh, Mirio passes on a value of self-worth and hope to Eri, uh, with that whole, you know, the cape moment. Uh, because there is that moment where Overhaul is constantly saying to her, you're worthless, you do nothing but hurt people, you are not a good thing. And when you tell someone that enough in life, you tend, you start to believe it, no matter what it is. Especially from someone who is a, you know, a, a paternal figure. That said, when you have someone, anyone in life, that says, that gives you value, that puts themselves on the line and says, no, you're worth it. It gives her the ability, rather than going to overhaul, she decides to take Deku's hand. So a lot of folks come to me and they're like, oh yeah, it's so silly what Mirio did in that moment because he could have done so many things that would have been the, the smart gamer move to make, you know? And I'm like, no, no, there's, there's a purpose to everything. And if, you, if you're following through on it, usually good stuff happens, so. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, all right, all right. Wow. You. What's your name? Um, my name is Alex, and what is your favorite line that you've delivered on the show? Also, Shoji's my favorite. Oh! 
My favorite line at a panel is Shoji's my favorite. Yeah! Yeah. I'm going to call my girlfriend and tell her someone said that. Yeah! Yeah. Yeah. Justin, Justin on the end, why don't you answer that question first? Oh, I don't know. I think just any time I get to scream something like, Gotta stay unbreakable! (laughs) My favorite song. Uh... (laughs) <laughs> Says the man that carries the show. Uh. <laughs> There's a lot. So many lines to choose from. I mean, I've, uh, recently, I, I've quite loved. Is that cheese? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think for CU, I just love uh, CU and Bakugo's relationship because that's the only time she gets really sassy. And so I love when she tells him. Well, with that attitude, you'll never be popular. Because <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. I'm just glad when I get to talk. <laughs> it's easy. It's the, sir, she's smiling. Aww. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry. <laughs> easy answer. What's, what's your name? Uh, hi, I'm Xander. Hi. And- if you could individually have a quirk, what would it be? Incredible luck. Level 20 luck. Because when you have incredible luck in any game, the world is just crazy. People come up to you, and like bad guys are like, give me your money, and they fall on their own weapon. You're like, ah, oh, dope. Like, luck, <laughs> like people come up, like quests solve themselves. I just, I like, it's just funny to me. It's funny to me. I, Domino. It's like Domino. 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 Long shot, long shot. Long shot, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sorry. Marvel, anyway. Uh, uh. My mutation, sorry, I'm an old school X-Men fan, uh, would be either healing factor. I'm sorry, I feel like an old man saying that. You a beauty, a beauty? Yes. Um, Sentinel breaks through. Is, I would say uh, Deadpool's not a mutant. Uh, I'm sorry that I've read a ton of comic books. Welcome. He can destroy the entire Marvel Universe and doesn't have to be, uh, you know. <laughs> Uh, I used to say healing factor would be amazing because you know you live forever and da, 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 da. but I honestly telekinesis would be fun because I would just troll people like yeah you would your your like hats would fall off and be like why can't I just I can't why is that not <laughs> and I'm just sitting there just moving it just moving Rack it focus to you in the back <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's so messed up. <laughs> I would want teleportation, because yeah. I love to travel, but I hate the airport and all modes of transportation. So it'd be really awesome if I could be like, hey guys, let's go to Italy and go get some real pizza. Real quick, and then come right back to sign. Can cool? you teleport so, us too? Like yeah, you like us? if we I have touch to be all touching? of you, okay. Yeah, okay, and then okay. I can teleport. Yeah, that's really and it cool. isn't line of sight, it isn't nightcrawler, <laughs> so it's excited. like full distance where <laughs> yeah. you just have to know where. Like instant transmission, <laughs> only for me. <laughs> so like operating. Huh? So like operating? Yes. Sure. One, two, three. I'll take it. Thank you. In a way that manifold works. I want uh, the the umami factor. I want to whenever I taste something and I don't know what that what is that je ne sais quoi. Uh, I'd be able to tell what the ingredients are, what the components are. Oh, it was shaved truffle. (laughs) See, that's attainable. Like within a year, I bet you could do that. (laughs) The The perfect palate. Does the mommy factor come with the healing factor? You know, (laughs) the spit comes off everything? Well, food and company are healing, so yeah. (laughs) Yeah. That's true. Ooh, oh, man, this was always a tough one for me. I, I, I don't know of one right off the top of my head, but my favorite one that I've heard when asked this question was from Brittany Kravowski, who would like the ability to throw a fart. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that would be kind of brilliant. You could just throw it, and it could, you know, it came from someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Deal with that. Where does I just the, thought that would be well, hilarious. Well, I have a question. Where? Sorry, I need specifics. You can kind of do. <laughs> you just, it's like, a fart? Someone farted, and you're like, there it is. <laughs> Like telekinesis, you know, it's the, not the identification of said gas. <laughs> I just, I was wondering. It's sorry. actually, yeah. Are you like a fart bender? Like, like you can. That's, yeah. That was my okay. Answer. That was my actual question. Fart bending. Yes, that's. <laughs> I, I think of it more like from Wanted, where they they throw the twist the bullets. Oh, wait, is that a form of air bending? Ah, there you go. Yeah, Whoa. yeah. No, it is. It's like blood bending. It is. It's one level deeper. You know? <laughs> Every airbender can fart. <laughs> I think that's the power you want. Uh, uh, what's your name? Um, hi, um, Maya. Your name is Hi? Maya. My name is Ashley. Oh, Sorry, my stutter went up. No, you're good. Uh, this is 
So I just have a question. I've been so like curious since core uh, since quarantine. How did fundamation like? Are you guys working out of your home? Like yeah. how did the world of voice acting transfer from the whole sad quarantine? Well, it stopped for a little bit, and it was really scary because everything just shut down. I'm sure all of you have experienced the same thing. It shut down, and we were like, oh, my gosh, because we had been doing simul dubs for such a long time. You're used to going into the studio weekly. And so that was a weird couple months. But then I have to say, Funimation really like mm -hmm. stepped up, and they created these actor kits for people that didn't have home studios so that people would be able to record from home. Those of us that had home studios, we made sure there's this wonderful thing called Source Connect that allows you to record over the internet and makes it sound like you're in the same studio as even if you're in, they could be in LA or you guys could be here, whatever, but it sounds like you're broadcast quality, even though you're in your closet. Um, we had our engineers too, like because yeah. we, we got very friendly, as I'm sure you guys have, with Zoom and all these ways to you know connect, but to take a look at our space and give us advice from, from their home to mm -hmm. how we should treat our home. Yeah, a lot, a lot of Zoom, a lot of, yeah. a lot of Zooming. I work in my closet in my boxers. <laughs> <laughs> I have recorded whole seasons of AAA shows in my boxers. <laughs> You kind of have to. You have to now. Now, summer like, in Texas is it's so hot. hot. And <laughs> honestly, I've gotten to the point where I, I make sure that my sessions are booked extra between ten and, and one because yeah. anything between two and five, yeah. I don't have ventilation because it's a closet. It's awful. I am dripping sweat trying to get it out. So some, I'm, I'm trying to get it in the morning. But that is. A, a weird new reality as a lot of us have had to kind of have this. We used to go in and be like, hey, it's Jesse, hey, it's Bobby, and now it's like, I'm playing my video game, then, okay, I'm going to walk into that closet and make an anime, and then sit back right here after I'm done. Uh, I miss people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, what's your name? Sam? Adrian. Okay. All of our reactions. Whoa! I, I, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! No one is safe. I think. No one is safe at I think love is a beautiful thing. <laughs> I love you, man. I love you, man. I love you, man. I love you, man. I, love you. I, love you. I fell for you. <laughs> He's pretty. <laughs> I mean, you know, cool. <laughs> I had a Twitter moment that you can <laughs> that you can access on Twitter.com that you know, that will get you there. I don't think that this author has taken us into any place so far that hasn't ended up being an incredible story. Yeah. So I would expect True. nothing more to happen for this. True. So being voice actors, do you guys ever answer your cell phones and like just you don't know the number, you just pick it up like a like a spam number? No. No. Uh, no. A number we don't know and just be like, hey, it's Ian Sinclair. <laughs> what you doing? I do want that warranty. <laughs> oh, finally, the person's like, oh, <laughs> they get liberated. They just wait for one of us to answer the call. <laughs> I used to, I used to troll back when landlines oh, were a thing. Okay, that's fine. Because you didn't have caller. Well, I didn't have caller ID because that stuff was expensive. Um, so I didn't have caller ID, so you'd have to answer the phone to figure out who was calling you. Mm -hmm. I know, I'm old. Um, so I would answer in like ridiculous voices, like, hello. And they'd be like, is your mom home? And I'm like, oh, this is the telemarketer. No, my mommy left like three hours ago and I've been all by myself. You want to talk? <laughs> but I got myself in trouble one time because I kept this guy on the phone for like 40 minutes and then I told him it was me and he got really upset. <laughs> I'm like, hey, but you spent an hour of your time getting paid to talk to somebody? Why did he no. spend an hour of his time talking to a 12 year old? No, because he thought I was a child left home alone. <laughs> Oh, he's trying to help. He's like, okay, we yeah, he was trying to help, to be okay. fair, and I was so great, being a troll. <laughs> it was like a guy like Paul Blart, you know, he really wanted to be an operator, but he <laughs> So he felt this to be his big break. This is it. This is the time. Uh, we, do, we do use our powers for evil sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Justin? <laughs> oh, I can't even be trusted to answer my phone when I know who's calling. <laughs> True story. 
the phone stopped doing that now. Now with my phone, I haven't figured out the button to hit that stops it from Siri just shifting all calls that aren't actually in my contacts list to the silenced call. So oh, show me how to do yeah, that to begin nifty. with, man. What's that? I want to know how to get that function going. <laughs> I, ask, I, I have it accidentally. <laughs> Siri? But yeah, silence Google it. Calls. I never. I, I end up calling a lot of telemarketers back. There's a lot of that. There's a lot of. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, I get you. Uh, all right. Uh, the you are calling us back. What do we do? Yeah, they're calling us back. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Ash, and my question is, how many times do you have to say that so manly? <laughs> I, I don't have, like, a manly counter, but I... <laughs> I, I, I anything that looks like it might apply to That's saying that, I tend to throw there. that out for Colleen, just so she's got it, and she'll say, let's stick to the script. <laughs> <laughs> so yes? manly. What's your name? So manly. Hi, Sandy. Um, I just wanted to actually thank you guys for giving my daughter something to be passionate about. Aww. Uh, you guys were the first real anime that she really started watching and got passionate about. Oh, so yay! Thank you awesome. yeah. Thank you for that. Oh, Yo, gosh, thank you guys. Thank you. Seriously. Thanks for sharing the passion. It sounds so hokey what I said earlier, but we really mean it. Like mm -hmm. we wouldn't be able to do we love what we do and we wouldn't be able to do it if it weren't for you guys. So seriously, we as much as you think us, we thank you because this is just one old cuddle puddle of love because y'all are awesome. Cuddle puddle. Cuddle, cuddle puddle. puddle. Well I mean it's not a literal because COVID, but you right. know, maybe in the future. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our next question is coming from a guest in the audience that actually taught Jamie and I about My Hero Academia. Oh. Yes, you did right there. Go ahead, tell them your name. I'm Jordan, and um, who is your favorite character and why? <gasps> like, all anime? No, My Hero Academia. My Hero Academia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Of all of literature? And all of literature! Whoa. Oh man, you guys, I'm thinking. Oh, can they see air? I'm like, oh my god, Aerie, you're so cute. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, it's a loaded question. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just gonna say it. I'll say Aerie, uh, because it's just such a sign of hope. You know what I mean? Watching this this child like interact with all of these other characters who have all their different things going on. You see the way they interact with her in different ways. Even like Bakugo, they all like just bounce off different energy off of this sweet little beam that is there, you know? And it's it's awesome. I saw well, all of them. All, everyone has like Aerie brings out something in everyone. I think it's. It's real, okay. it's real cute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say you because you're just infectious. Uh, <laughs> it's a me. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Todoroki. Because I like strong, silent, bad ish boys. <laughs> I like boys with issues. <laughs> All the best cowboys have issues. Right? <laughs> I think I like Toga the most. Uh, she knows what she's about, you know? True. True. I mean, Kirishima would be my number one, but if I have to pick outside of that one, Shigaraki easily becomes the, the next uh, uh, character. Too many hands, too many hands. <laughs> Aww, too many hands. No, I'm uh, okay. Never, never too many hands. <laughs> Arms. Body, That's my right? arms. And yeah. they're not all hands. Hey, That's what I'm saying. Hey, you want to talk about daddy issues. Yeah. <laughs> you have arms and hands. I'm okay. It's just Stops. the soul hands. That you, yeah. <laughs> the armless <laughs> hands. The armless hands, yeah. Figured it out, yes. All right, we have less than five minutes left. You were supposed to do it. You make me do it because she wants me to be the but bad he guy. He keeps stealing the whole conversation. So, yeah, <laughs> we have less than five minutes. So if there's anybody that has any questions left. Speed round. Um, speed round. Speed yeah. round. Oh really gosh, quick. let's get you in the second row because I don't think you had one yet. Right. right. Sorry. So my name is Sean. Uh, I guess my question is how. I, I guess this is going to go in a little deeper. How are y'all able to like separate what y'all do at your work to go home and just be yourselves? I guess. He does it in his boxers in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> We're already home. It's it's a weird. It, it's changed now because yeah. it is from home, and so there is a little less separation. But it's. I mean, for all of us, it's a job we've done for I don't know how long, and at some point, you kind of have to turn off when you go home. I'd say similar to the way you guys, like any job you do, yeah. you just decompress by watching a movie, by you know, which is ironic, I know, because it's more entertainment. But playing a video game, I play a lot of games. Uh, yeah. Reading, I, you know what I mean? Like it's any kind of other thing. It's the same vocation, even though we play with a lot of emotions and imaginary worlds, and we can get really emotional about it. Mm -hmm. It's still a, a job that we practice. So we all have different ways that we are able to 
you know, I play Hollow Knight. Justin plays Hollow Knight. Hey. I, th I think that make, <laughs> I think the only thing that really makes us different from what any of y'all would do is that we don't necessarily watch anime when we get home from anime. <laughs> I mean, we love anime. We'll watch it on Tsunami. We'll watch it and all that. But like. Not right after home. I'm not going right from one because I've just been staring at a screen of anime for the last five hours, screaming. There's a yeah. saying in theater that sa they always tell you to leave it on the stage. Mm -hmm. So if you're really emotional, you leave it on the stage. So I kind of try to adhere to that, like leave it in the booth. Yep. Now it will kind of go into your personal life sometimes. Like if you have a really hard day of screaming and crying, mm -hmm. you might be a little down for the rest of the day, but you gotta yep. shake it off. I talk about I'll talk about it. Like I'll talk about Aaron just being some of my friend. Like, hey, what do you think about this moment? What's this like this craft? You know, it's like another thing. Yeah. Anyway. Who's next? Pretty much all that, yeah. <laughs> all those things. <laughs> all right. Guys. All right, one question one really more. quick. Um, the girl in the back with the black. She didn't have a question yet. You in the back, yeah. Uh, I'm Megan and my question is, are any of you going to attempt the incline? I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to. It's okay. like 0.8 miles. I'm like, easy. <laughs> oh, like, oh, God. Have you guys heard of it? The Manitou Incline? No. What? The Manitou Incline? It's like 0.8 miles. Easy. Let's go. Let's all go do it. I didn't bring any hiking shoes. I'm not going to hike in my It's hike. only it's under a mile. You can do in it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I, I think doing that while trying to sign autographs at the table would be difficult. <laughs> Quads are on fire thinking about it. <laughs> I hike enough to have learned to look at the elevation gain before you go out, and I'm gonna be like, oh no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> I want to, I want to. It's a good question though. Yeah. One final question really quick before we end. You. So out of all of the characters, What's your name? Uh, Shaylee, out of all the characters you've ever voiced, um, which do you think would get along best with your My Hero character? <laughs> Oh. I think that you just can't cure a shame. It could figure out a way to get along pretty well. Uh, that's true. Yeah. Uh, Taiju from Dr. Stone and Mirio from My Hero would be great friends. <laughs> They're hanging out, working out, playing with animals, doing all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Super bros. <laughs> Say Kurno from Fruits Basket because they'd just be real sweet boys together. It's real nice. Aww. I'm gonna say Bulma because I feel like she's such a great role model that Sue would want to learn from her, like teach me your ways. Um, so I think they'd get along really well. I'm thinking Mika from Seraph the End, cause, oh. just because he could use a friend. He could Aww. use a friend. Yeah. Yes, he does need a friend, mm -hmm. little Mika. Like, would Deku turn away any friend? <laughs> no, no, no way, right? Like, I can't see that ever. Mm -hmm. no. All right, guys, I'm sorry, but we're done. Thank you all so much. This is the cast of High Hero Academia. Go down to their tables, take a picture, get an autograph, say hi.